Hey guys, it's your boy Daniel Man coming at you with an actual video for once. If you're wondering why I sound like this, it's because all my other family members are asleep and I need to be quiet. In this video, I'm going to be speculating about the artwork that was leaked for all the DNA pods in the Ben 10 reboot. Now, most of these pods we've already seen in Intervasion, and some of the ones we haven't, we can already tell what they are from first glance. But the remaining pods have gotten the fandom very silently riled up and speculating as to what they represent. Well tonight I've risen up to finally crack this case once and for all probably. The first pod we'll be looking at has multiple orange tufts of hair with very prominent rectangles sticking out. This pod is obviously wild nuts and we'll be moving on now. The second pod has multiple black scales with green stripes and a white background. This combination is definitively rip jaws. But some people are speculating that this pod contains Snarrow's DNA, which is understandable, or Ghost Freak's DNA, which is just wrong. This third one is a generic green pod with very small bubbly specks floating around in it. Now, other than the ones I'm focusing on, all of these pods contain DNA that Ben has utilized before. Since Wild Vine and Slapback have already been represented, that only leaves Gax. As to why it's so empty looking compared to the others, note that in Omnitrick, Gax's powers were absorbed by Vilgax to become whole again. While this form still exists in the Omnitrix, as confirmed by the creators, it's likely severely fractured, and probably looks something like Vil. That leaves us with this last pod, a goopy yellow membrane with several unmistakable green eyes in it. This pod clearly belongs to Eye Guy, but why am I saving this for last? I have a theory that this form may impact the plot later on in the season. Two different episode previews have shown a silhouette on the Omnitrix resembling Eye Guy, accompanied by Green Static, one of them being what appears to be the season finale, and one of them being the season Zingo episode for some reason. Now there's pretty well established lore in this series that holding more than 10 aliens will cause the Omnitrix to go haywire. Going back to Omnitrix, Ben unlocking Gax was what caused the rapid transformation problem. Unlike an Omnitrix, however, he doesn't seem to be rapidly transforming into his aliens anymore, and it seems to be the start of an arc that will likely be resolved in the roundabout. As to why it's acting differently, it might have something to do with it going through two system updates. As for Wild Mutt and Ripjaws, I have no idea what they're going to do with them, if anything at all, though it'll still be cool to see them acknowledged in this reboot. That's going to be it for this video. If you liked this video, show some support, and if you didn't, I completely understand.